this week's Dancing with the Stars chat. Wow, it's episode six already? This is crazy. It's flying. Mark Ballas. <laughs> Mark Ballas got to open the show with that iconic Fred Astaire number from Top Hat. Putting on the Ritz. Yeah, also made famous in Young Frankenstein and wasn't there Tiny Mouth Clark Gable singing it one time? <laughs> I don't know about that. I think but, so. But he didn't do that dance with like all of the... No, that was definitely yeah, an Fred ode Astaire. to Astaire. So Val even came out and did a little ode to that Fuica Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Da, 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 da. But he had uh, sequin, sequin boxer undies. on. <laughs> Yeah. And then he had covered up his wiener at the end because he was embarrassed. There were a few other little Easter eggs in there, too. Yeah. So it it's iconic stuff. dances night. I love it. I love it. This I is a fun too. theme. So Kim and Sasha were up first. Mm -hmm. This is the first week back since the switch um, up. The switch up. So it's always like, oh, my God, I love you. Or this person was better than you. That's so sad. Yeah. So they had a jive, and it was the iconic number from the movie Hairspray, You Can't Stop the Beat. Yeah! And, by the way, these two were very happy to be re reunited. Yes. Uh, Kim, however, is suffering a little bit. She might have some stress fractures in her ankles. And she wasn't even telling him! She was just suffering in She's silence. A I think in her foot. I don't know. This dance was really great. It was. it was a lot of fun. You have to have high energy for this. You have yeah. to. And she, I thought she did. I thought she did too. And I think this was a great routine for her because there were a lot of breaks in there. Strategically placed. But there was also a ton of jive content. Ton. So I thought all the bases were covered. No one passed out. When I saw <laughs> her get lifted up, I was like, oh man, Carrie Ann's going to have something to say about this one. Yeah, she said... They're it's okay. okay. It's okay for tonight. Great. <laughs> Maybe they made up that rule last time or like two seasons ago or whatever it was so they could do the dirty dancing lift. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but she found something else to bitch about. I don't even know what it was. It was nothing, though. Nothing. Something about Kim's energy, but I thought she brought enough energy she for this. She had a ton of energy during yeah. this. So she only got a 24. That was really sucky. I thought that was a little low. I think so, too. A lot of the scores tonight were like, what? Selectively. What? Yeah. Uh, Vaughn and Whitney were up next, and they did Bad by Michael Jackson. They did a jazz routine to it. Vaughn was so excited for this. He really was, but you know what? I thought it was actually kind of low energy for him. I think that might be, like, Vaughn's high energy, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so sad. No, like, he just has, like, a little... I don't know. You mean like in your mind you think you're like, oh shit, I'm really hitting this. Yeah, but then you like when you watch it back, you're like, oh, I hardly moved at all. Yeah, but I think yeah. it was a huge improvement for him. You could tell yeah. he was really into this. He was really into it. And, and I thought he was sharp was, in a lot of places. It was a lot of fun, too. The steps were basic, though. He should have been, like, big. It's all about the performance. Yeah. He had fun, though. He had a lot of fun. And I that makes fun the viewer him. have fun. Yeah. Uh, 24 for them. Now, Jody, she was excited to be back with Keo. Yes. But she did have a good time. With Val. With, with Val. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week, they, they did a pink yes. dance. Try. Right. It almost is kind of like the chandelier video. And then I was yeah. like, what if someone does chandelier? That'd be hilarious. But they didn't. But they didn't, yeah. So she And yes, I know that this was before chandelier. Right. She had a lot of injuries. Uh, because Pink is freaking intense. <laughs> oh my god, some of the moves in that music video yeah, are insane. Crazy. Uh, she got punched in the face by Keo. Yeah. She's having some ankle issues of her own. Uh -huh. They were trying to do that freaking balanced yoga pose. That was crazy. They ended up taking that out of the final performance. I don't blame them. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's risky. Yeah. Woo. So this was a contemporary, and I thought it was very, very good. I thought she was amazing. There was one moment, though, where I almost threw up. When she was, like, up it. over his head. She, yeah, she wasn't balanced, <gasps> and I thought for sure he was going to drop her. She was just like, eh. Not Keo. You could trust him. Yeah. So they got a 25. I thought it could have been higher. She yeah. really, you know, she danced she committed. with abandon. 
All right, then they had a little birthday cake for Dinosaur Len. Yay, Dinosaur Len! <laughs> Happy birthday, Len. Yep, enjoy. He's probably like 60. <laughs> now I'm sure he's older than that. <laughs> All right, so Paige and Mark, uh, they were they were happy to be back. Yeah. <laughs> they had a little trouble, though, because the original thing that they had planned fell, fell through. through. Legal issues. You don't always get the clearance. That sucks. But you know what? When a door shuts, a window opens, <gasps> and Austin Powers came through This it. was a window into the 60s. <laughs> This was so much fun. They Mark choreographed such a fun jazz routine to yeah. the Austin Powers, you know, the do 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 theme song. Yeah. Um, lots of fun. Little bit out of sync. I'm surprised none of the judges there. mentioned that. I thought I was going crazy for a second, but I saw like on a few occasions she was just a hair ahead, ahead of, the yeah. of Mark. Yeah. But I thought it was great. Very, very sharp. She had some cool tricks in there. I'm actually surprised Len gave it a 10 with her being out of sync. Again, I, yeah, I'm surprised the judges didn't even bring it up. I know. But they got a 28, and I thought it was Maybe great. Maybe because Len is British. He was like, yes. And Austin Powers is British. <laughs> and Mark Ballas with all his facial expressions. They were. He really did look like a young Peter Sellers. Yeah. All right, so Niall and Peter. Oh, boy. He... Really committed to this. He really did. He went and had the teeth molds done and everything. Well, you know why I think they did that too? Because they've actually done this song and, you know, this performance. Like, right. a, they did this a million years ago with, like, Julianne Huff and yes. Elio. Uh, Castro Neves. Yeah. yeah. And it was a big deal on this show. So they had great. to make it yeah. different. Mm -hmm. So he went all out with the prosthetics. He had the fake teeth in there. Yeah. It was crazy. It was, he looked so much like him, and his mannerisms were... He just nailed his it. His acting was perfect, perfect tonight. But he had to open his, his... translator had to open his mouth and say that Val was his competition. You know, I'm all for confidence. Love confidence. But I think Niall might need to Time bring it in back. a little bit. Yeah. Back, back, back it up. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Did he put his performance where his translator was? Well, they were doing a quick step this week, and that in itself is a challenge. The performance was fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah. He was slightly out of sync and had in some other spots. issues. Technically, a few issues, but I think the judges were really pissed about his video package before before the dance. I yeah. think that put a really sour taste in their mouths. Yeah. Uh, Bruno didn't give a crap. He was just like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but Carrie Ann and Len, Len especially ripped him a new one. He did. I thought he was talking to Max there for a minute. I was having Max flashbacks. Right? <laughs> they do not like arrogance on this show. Remember last season, too? Mm-hmm. All right. So they got a 25, which I thought was kind of sucky because I thought it was more than a 25. Yeah. Just, right. I think the performance was just out of this yeah. world. So that, that's that got to be like an iconic dance of an iconic dance now. <laughs> you have to recreate that in the future again. Yeah. But yeah. I do agree with, with Len. Yeah. Technical issues that right. should be addressed. Okay, moving on. Ginger and Val. She was doing Janet Jackson's Nasty. Woo! Freaking love Janet Jackson. Jazz. She did a great job. Um, but there was too much walking in the middle section. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think she was a little underutilized in parts of the routine. That's not her fault. True. But you know what? Val only gave her what he thought she could handle. So the parts that she had, like a lot of choreography. She was, you know, she hit everything. It was great, but I feel like she could have used a little bit more attitude, like the judges were saying. This is basic isolations, you know. She should be able... Somewhat. She should be able to, like, really kick up the attitude a few steps. And, you know, that would have... If she had just hit it harder, she would have had all tens. Yeah. But not so great. She got a 24. I thought that was that still... Was that was low. Harsh. That was low. That should have been a 27. 
All right, Doug and Karina. He's doing Bollywood. Slumdog Millionaire, Jai Ho. Everybody does Bollywood to Jai Ho. Not everybody. Everybody <laughs> on these shows. Well, it's a big deal. Yeah. It's this, an iconic dance. Right. This started out so strong for him. I was like, Doug, yes. Doug <laughs> Good was, job. Doug was hitting it. I gotta then, be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect here. Because Bollywood's not easy. No. It's like the jive. Intricate, but, high energy. But Indian, you know. Um, Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. There's some similarities there. Right. But, you know, just tweaked a little bit. A lot bit. of jumping around. Exactly. Just like in jive, yeah. So you need a lot of stamina for that, and he kind of lost steam. A little bit. But it was better than we thought. I thought it was respectable. And he had a S-ton of fun doing this, too. I think so, yeah. So they got a 21. I think that was... Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was fair. Yeah. So Wanye and Lindsay, they were happy to be back together, too. Mm-hmm. They had Bye 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 by NSYNC. They were allowed to do NSYNC this season because there's not a Backstreet Boy on. <laughs> <laughs> this was so much fun. Uh, Just from the beginning, too. They had the yeah. screens with faces. Just then... like on the Music Awards show. It was great. It was awesome. He was totally working it. He always, You know, he always See, gives his all. This is an example of, like, really hitting it hard mm -hmm. and committing. Yes. <laughs> uh, he had to. Joey and Lance were there in the audience. Lance, I love you! Oh, my God. Yeah, but I thought he nailed it. I thought, for sure, perfect score. Yeah. But no, what? Len? No 10? Uh, how much did you love Carrie Ann's? It's From a, Carrie Ann, a, a 10. ten. <laughs> you, good job. Because he totally ripped her a new one. Because how many 10s have you given out, sweetheart? <laughs> I will be giving out one tonight. I think they actually work out their scores in their head before. I don't know about that. I do. I don't know. And then they just, like, finalize it. Like, they have in their mind what they're going to do. That's kind of Well, sad. I mean, if they see the dress rehearsal, exactly. they get an idea of what they're going to be yeah. seeing. So 29 for Wanye and Lindsay. Highest of the night. Okay. <laughs> and last but not least, Antonio and Sharna. Now, there was some drama here. Yeah. Because last week in one of the video packages, they had asked Sharna, like, who do you think's going to win? She said, like, oh, well, Niall and Wanye are, like, oh, up there. Oh, but I should say Antonio, right? He was pissed. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was as pissed as he was disappointed. I guess. He was like, why are you, like, rooting for another team? I thought we were a team. This like, is our team. How many well, times did he say, like, and you go going against the team, and, like, this is our team? And <laughs> He's so football. Yeah. But you know what? You don't show up for practice late. <coughs> All right, so. That's true, though. Like, last week we saw a side of Antonio where it seemed like he didn't care that much. Exactly. But I think this was good for them. Because they talked it out. It was a wake-up call. And it really lit a fire under his butt. It really did. Because he was so high energy in this routine. Yeah. He, again, gave a great performance, but the technicality, you know, technically, it was not fantastic. No, but I thought it was an improvement for him. Absolutely. I think it's a step in the right direction. The judges rewarded that. Even though it wasn't technically good, they still gave him a 27. Mm-hmm. They could have done that for Niall, but they chose not to because they thought he had attitude. All right. There's a cat over there eating something. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about the bottom three this week, or the supposed bottom three. I guess it's not actually the bottom three. Who's in Jeps? Well, we have Paige and Mark. Really? What? <laughs> Doug and Karina. And Vaughn and Whitney. What? Yeah. So, going home this week... Doug and Karina. He had fun. I hope so. He stayed around way longer than anybody thought he would, so. I really appreciated that he was trying every week, he was improving every week, and I hope he keeps up with dance because... I think it could be a nice um, thing for him and his wife, especially since she owns a dance studio, mm -hmm. and now he can really understand yeah. more about it. So, next week is a double elimination. Oh, my God. I guess that makes sense since there's only, like, four weeks left in the season, right? Is it four or six? Isn't it usually 12? Uh, I don't know because they... Ow! 
But they have to make up for last week. They right. didn't have an elimination. And right. next week is also team dances. And for the first time ever, it's men versus women. Oh, boy. That's going to be awesome. This is going to be incredible. So make sure you check it out. And until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.